Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Empress Queen Tay from Empress Queen Tay Tarot and Oracle here on YouTube and Miss Nicole from Spiritual Guides Academy has blessed me with an opportunity to be able to give you guys 12 Oracle and Tarot readings, okay? Yes, all right. So with that being said, you guys know that tarot energy is fluid. Take what is for you. Leave what is not. Okay, these messages are timeless. These messages are meant to find you when they are meant to find you. Okay. Also, you guys go ahead and subscribe to Spiritual Guides Academy channel. Turn on your bell notifications so anytime Miss Nicole upload a video, you guys already know, okay? And then head over and check my channel out, Empress Queen Tay Tarot and Oracle, okay? So we're going to get into this reading. I'm going to start off with the Keepers of the Light Oracle. And we're going to see what's coming in for the collective, okay? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit, what message, what keeper, what light bearers coming in for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit, what is coming through for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date? What's coming out of the collective? Thank you. And we have two. We have John of Arc, Voice of Truth, Stand Strong, Focus on Your Purpose, Release the Fear of Persecution, and Speak Your Truth. Okay. Giving me Queen of Swords energy here. Okay. And then we have Open Communication. Get a weight off your chest. Speak up with love and be heard. Okay, so for the collective that I'm reading for, definitely you have something that you need to get off your chest. Okay, something, a truth that needs to be spoken either to a certain person or a certain group of people or to yourself. Okay, I feel a lot of you guys have a strong sense of purpose and know what you're here to do, know what your purpose is. OK, but other people opinions might be standing in your way from speaking your truth, living your life. OK, you, you need to be open about your communication. Get it off your chest, but say it in a loving way. OK. That's the energy I'm getting off of that. Say it in a loving way is what spirit is saying. Bottom of the deck, life force. Express your driving passion. Sensual and sexual powers are increased. So a lot of expression going on, a lot of communication, a lot of opening up coming out early at the beginning of the read. So I'm going to go in with the soul's journey deck. Okay. And I'm going to see what soul lesson is coming out for the collective archangels, ancestors, father, God, divine, Holy Spirit. What is coming through for the collective? A lot of you guys are grateful that something has come to an end. Okay, a lot of you guys are fearful. Death keep popping up at the back of the deck. Some of you guys are needing to admit that something is come to an end. Okay. Archangel, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit. What is coming through for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date? Divine, Holy Spirit. What is coming through? So the first one out, we have peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. Okay. We have discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. And we have gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Okay, I'm getting a, strong, a, a real strong sense of something is coming in. Like you guys are being grateful for this purpose that you're walking in. Um, 
this path that you're on. Okay, some of you guys are needing to get disciplined about something. You're needing to really get focused and start speaking your truth. Start actually standing in your power. Start standing more on your focus, okay? Bringing more peaceful energy around you. Releasing any negative energy, okay? A lot of you guys, this is the energy that you're already in, okay? I just feel for a lot of you, you need to just stand up for what it is that you are all about. Is what I'm getting, Okay, focus on your purpose, standing strong in you, being confident in you and expressing that. Okay. And spirit is also giving me getting any weight off your chest. Okay. Spirit also wants me to highlight the back of the deck denial. I acknowledge my fears, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Okay. So whatever may be holding you back from speaking your truth okay don't be in denial about it acknowledge why you feel that way about it okay and that is going to replace that well okay now i know so what then you do after that okay ball is in your court divine holy spirit is saying so we're going to go in and we're going to get an affirmation for the collective okay archangels ancestors father god divine holy spirit What's the message coming through for the collective that I may be connecting with you now or at a later date? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit. What is the message for the collective? What is the affirmation? Divine Holy Spirit, what's the affirmation coming through? Thank you. And we have, I am flexible and flowing. I am open to the new and changing. Every moment presents a wonderful new opportunity to become more of who I am. I flow with life easily and effortlessly. Okay, I really get a strong sense of that peace and that voice of truth coming out. Standing strong. Okay, releasing any fear of persecution. Okay, that's also what was that back of the deck energy right here. Okay, that that denial. Okay, being in denial about something. Okay, starting to be more flexible and in the flow. Okay. What's coming towards you is what I'm getting off of this energy right here. Allowing things to come to you. Knowing that things and opportunities come to you effortlessly because you're, you're releasing any negative energy. Okay, you're standing in your purpose. You're standing strong. You're being disciplined. For others of you, you just have to get a little dis more disciplined. And you're in this gratitude. You're in this grateful atmosphere. Peace and gratitude. Okay, I'm getting a lot of some of you guys have been actually seeing some of the things that you've been manifesting, some of the things that you've been wanting. Some of you guys have been seeing that. Okay, and others of you, you've been manifesting a peaceful time and a peaceful phase and you're starting to see or you are seeing that peaceful phase come through. So we're going to go in. With the wisdom of the oracle, and we want to get some messages from our higher self. We want to get some messages from the ancestors, and we're going to get some messages from the guardian angels. Okay, archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine Holy Spirit, allow me to connect with the energies surrounding the collective that may be watching this video either now or at a later date. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine Holy Spirit, allow me to tap into the energies surrounding the collective either now or at a later date. Divine Holy Spirit, it's the message from the higher self. Thank you. And we have all that glitters and co-create. Okay, so I get the energy of trying to do a lot on your own here. Okay, going after something, trying to do a lot on your own, seeing maybe a way of somebody else doing it. 
but you're not somebody else. And the way that that person did that is not comparable to how the divine Holy Spirit wants to create your thing with you is what I'm getting. Okay. I'm getting the energy of allowing the divine Holy Spirit to come in and give you this knowledge and guide you on this path. Okay. Of voicing the truth because there's something that is not being seen here. Something that is not all the way being said. Okay. I'm getting off of this energy as well. And the divine Holy Spirit is giving me, um, your higher self is saying something that you're seeing, something that is shining, something that the way that you're going about it, you need to allow the divine Holy Spirit to step in. You need to allow your spiritual team to step in, you know, um, the universe to step in and co-create with them and not try to do it all on your own because you seen, you know, Susie Q get it out the mud, Bobby Brown get it out the mud, out of, you know, this way. Okay, and that way was their way, Spirit is giving me. Your way is your way and is divinely created just for you. Okay, so Spirit is asking, you know, your higher self is asking for to, you know, let the divine Holy Spirit step in. Let your um spiritual team step in. Your ancestors, your archangels, let them step in and help you. Okay. We're trying to give birth to this idea, trying to give birth to this creation. Okay. I feel like if you try to continue to do something all on your own without divine wisdom, you're going to fumble. And you're going to pull other people down with you is what I'm getting for some of you may not resonate with all of you. Okay. So what is the message from the art from the angels? Okay, Spirit wants me to take it. Okay, so the message from the ancestors is go the distance, peace coming out again, and round and around. Okay, and I feel like there is a call for you to break out of a situation, a relationship, okay, that you may have been involved in. And for some of you guys, you know, you're coming out of this or you're in this cycle right now of a relationship. Spirit is also giving me for some of you guys, you're in this cycle of not really speaking your truth. Okay. Like you're in a peaceful place, but you let a lot of things build up in your chest. A lot of things, uh, you know, lay heavy on your chest. Okay. And you need to release that. Okay. Be heard, but do it in a loving way. Okay. This is something you do all the time. Okay, and you go around and around and around with what you should have said or how you should have said it. Okay, spirit is giving me may not resonate for all of you, but I feel strongly for some of you. This is why that voice of truth and open communication is coming out for some of you guys. You haven't told your partner how you truly feel. For others of you, you've told them this and it's like the conversation goes over and over and over again and you're ready to separate. You're ready to move on with this go to distance card. Is what the ancestors are telling me. They're wanting you to go the distance. They're wanting you to break out of some cycle, some way of thinking that is just having you in your head, having you think about the same thing constantly, constantly, and not really expressing how it is that you feel is what I'm getting off of this energy right here. Okay, because something is meant for you. Okay, opportunities in this life is meant to come towards you. You're meant to go the distance. Okay, and we also have this peace coming out. Okay, and this is this is divine Holy Spirit offering you this peace of mind to help you release any negative energy, anything negative surrounding or uh, nurturing this path that you on, nurturing what this is that you're trying to birth, what it is that you're needing the spirit, the divine Holy Spirit source, the universe, however you see, you know, connect to the creator of all things to step in and help you with this and that this is what they're going to do this is what the ancestors are here for their ancestors that have laid this groundwork before and there's blessings lined up for you i'm hearing and that's why this peace card is coming out twice here you're needing to just speak something in a loving way 
stand for what you're standing for in a loving way, standing your purpose. Okay. Some of you have a strong, very, very strong sense of purpose. Okay. But something is not being communicated. I'm getting off of this card. Okay. And the divine Holy Spirit is offering you this peace. Okay. For some of you, divine Holy Spirit has cleared a lot of negativity away from you or is going to clear a lot of negative negativity away from you. A lot of love, divine love is coming in. Okay. I see guardian angels also present around the collective at this time heavily. Okay. Something is being birthed in you right now. Okay, but I feel like it's something that the ancestors are saying you need to get out of your head about. It's a connection that you need to come out of that is just, it's a cycle. You need to break away from that. Okay. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the message from the guardian angels? And we have to be fair and message in a bottle. Okay. Oh. Something about to pop off, y'all. Something something is about to come in and just... I really feel like knock you off your feet. Okay? Just be open to this energy. I feel like the Divine Holy Spirit has something coming in for you guys. It's like I've been saying. like They're wanting to come in. So a message. Be looking for some type of information coming towards you. Okay? And this is going to be just. Okay, whatever this message in the bottle is, this is a message. Let me look at this card a little bit more. Okay, for some of you, you can be getting a phone call about a new job or something that you've been looking to invest in, something that you've been investing in, something you've been working on. Okay, also for some of you, this could be a message of love. Okay, Someone you've been wanting to reach out to you, I feel is going to be reaching out to you. Okay, it's going to be a communication of love and understanding. This, this is a divinely guided message here. Okay, and I also feel for a lot of you outside of a connection, this is all about the divine Holy Spirit. Like moving things, sending you these secret messages that only somehow just get to you. Like you're only aware of this. Okay, it's going to be moments where you're going to receive information or you're going to receive some type of gift or, you know, it's, it's going to be something very special. Okay, it's something very special that's coming up from the collective. It's some a very special message. Okay, it's a blessing in this message. Okay, I feel like this message is going to allow you to go to distance. Okay, and you have the justice card here. You know, balance and good fortune is coming in. Divine Holy Spirit is just giving me um, your higher self. You're looking at something, you know, in a wide-eyed way, okay? And you're needing to pull back on that, okay? You're needing to pull back on it is what Spirit is saying. So let's go in. With the angels and ancestors oracle, you guys. And this is a spread specifically for Spiritual Guidance Academy. Okay, that the Divine Holy Spirit gave me. This is a six-card spread. Okay, let me just get some of this out the way. Okay, Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine Holy Spirit, this is for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date. What is coming through? Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine Holy Spirit, what is the message of the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date? Please give me clear, concise, precise messages, Divine Holy Spirit, Archangels, Ancestors. Father God, what's coming through?
Okay. The first card out is going to be your energy. The second card out is going to be what's grinding you. Okay. The third card out is going to be your goals, your desires. The fourth card out is going to be energy surrounding things that you need to let go of. Okay. The fifth card out is going to be where you need to direct your energy, you know, your intuition, I mean, your intentions. The sixth card out is going to be advice slash outcome, okay? And then we're going to go with that with a three-card spread using um, the Modern Witch Tarot, okay? So, let's see what's coming out of the line. Where is the energy of the collective? And we have trust in the unknown, okay? Divinely guided, okay? Divinely guided is where you are standing strong in your purpose, seeking wisdom, seeking clarity. For some of you getting tons of clarity, others of you sitting on top of a mountain, looking at all your possibilities, perspectives in all different types of situation in different ways. Okay. Trusting in the unknown. Okay. Trusting in the divine Holy Spirit source, the universe, whomever you may resonate with. Okay, we don't judge. Divine Holy Spirit, what is grounding the collective right now? What energy is grounding the collective right now? What energy is grounding? Thank you. We have Druid hold the space. So this is what's grounding you. Okay, being in this space of trusting in the unknown. Okay, trusting in divine wisdom. Okay, trusting in your spiritual guidance. It's just that I really strongly feel that it's something with this all that glitters card that the collective is looking at and needing, you know, it's, it's a false sense there. Okay, and spirit is giving me, you know exactly what it is that I'm talking about that you're trying to do all on your own or you're seeing something in a, a, a very... um. It's illusion spirit is giving me. You're needing to allow spirit to come in on this particular um business venture, subject, relationship, or whatever it may be. Okay. And then I'm also getting, you know, that divine wisdom right there. Okay. That trusting the unknown. So I do feel like the overall energy you are is just that it's something you're looking at one way. Divine Holy Spirit, what's the goal for the collective? What is the goal? We have Earth Guardians. Stay rooted and grounded. So you have hold the space. Stay rooted and grounded. Okay. Keep doing what you're doing. Divine Holy Spirit. What does the collective need to let go? Thank you. And we have Stargazers. Set your sights higher. Okay. I feel like there is an energy around, you know, I can't go no further than this. Okay, that I'm feeling and I feel like that's a lie. You know, you need to stay rooted and grounded in what it is that you know you want and you know you can have. Do not limit yourself is what I'm getting off of that. Letting go, limiting your sights to one level. Divine Holy Spirit, where does the collective need to direct their energy? Where does the collective need to direct their energy? Thank you. And we have Hunter, track down your fears and desires. And we have drum, dream, and journey. Okay. These two energies are being connected together, I feel like, because there is somewhere you're traveling. Okay. In the 5D, it's somewhere you're going. It's something that you want. Okay. But it's it's something, it's some type of fear co connected to your desires of what it is that you want on this journey. Okay. And you're needing to track that down. Okay. And knowing that don't limit yourself. This is what opposing you setting yourselves higher, you know, setting your sights higher. Don't let this fear oppose what it is that you're dreaming about and what it is that you're desiring. Divine Holy Spirit, where should, okay, what is the advice? What is the advice for the collective? And we have connect with your emotions, okay? So, I feel like that is going within, knowing, okay, being open to new changing energies, okay? Being present in the moment. Okay, being more in the flow. Okay, I feel like, you know, I am flexible and in flow. That is, you know, connecting with your emotions right there. Okay, 
Okay, we also have shed old skin at the back of the deck energy as well. So some of you may have something that you need to shed. So we're going to go in on top of this with a three card bed, past, present, and future energy. Okay, and then we're going to get an extra card for advice. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit. What is coming through for the collective that I will be connecting with either now or at a later date? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit. I see the nine of pentacles still here at the back of the deck after I didn't cut. Also, I see the ten of swords. So a lot of you guys have overcome a very toxic mental situation or you're ending a very toxic mental situation. Okay, you're feeling good on your own. Okay, Divine Holy Spirit, thank you. We have judgment. Okay, Divine Holy Spirit is stepping in right here. Okay, we have four of wands. Okay, some of you are going through a breakup and some of you are going through a union. Divine Holy Spirit, what's the future energy? Thank you. We have the tower. Divine Holy Spirit, what's the advice? Thank you. We have the hermit. Okay, so I feel like there is something that has come up where you, you know, either needed to speak your voice or you're going to speak your voice. This is about a certain situation, commitment. Okay, this could be your twin flame. This could be, you know, um, a family uh, situation here with this four wands here. Okay, wanting something to be happy, wanting something to be in a peaceful place. Okay, and then in the future, we have this tower moment, something that's going to shake things up. Okay, maybe this is something you all that glitters isn't gold. Maybe it's something that you're looking at. Okay, that it's all good right now when you're not giving yourself the true aspect of what it really is. So something is going to come in and shake that up and it's going to have you to go and search within yourself. I feel like that's where, you know, you're going to set your intentions higher. You're going to set your sights higher. Okay, so we're going to go in and I just want to clarify this four of wands. Okay, we have the two of wands, something you guys have moved on from. What is this four of wands, divine Holy Spirit? Ten of Pentacles, divine Holy Spirit. What is this four of wands? Thank you. The devil, divine Holy Spirit. What is this four of wands? Thank you. Eight of Cups. So this was a relationship, something you guys invested a lot in, something you guys wanted to have a lot in with a person or a situation that was very toxic that you moved on from. Okay, and so I'm just going to get a little bit more on this uh, tower here, Divine Holy Spirit. What is this tower? Thank you. Two of Cups of Union. Yeah, situation here. Divine Holy Spirit, what is this tower? Thank you. Yeah. Three of Wands, moving on, okay, accomplishing, going out after what you want to accomplish, okay, yeah, the lovers, I feel like moving on from this situation, whatever this toxic energy was for you in this commitment, okay, that you're presently in or you're presently moving on from, um, you, after this tower moment, you come into union with someone else, okay? I do also feel that um, your person is going to try to come back, okay? There's something that is going to happen within this this situation here because you're going to come into union with someone that you're going to really feel connected with, okay? But the past is going to try to show up again and there is going to be something in within all that with future energy. And I feel like it's just going to cause you to really evaluate some things, okay? But right now, the collective, I feel, is leaving a very toxic situation where they built up a lot. Like this is somebody, I feel like cycles, card has come out here around and around, twin flame, okay? type of energy right here. I'm getting karmic energy as well coming out over here because we do have the justice card here and we do have judgment. Okay. So with that being said, you guys, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm sending you guys nothing but love, light, and peace. Okay. Please do hit that like button, subscribe to Spiritual Goddess Academy channel, and then come check me out over at Empress Queen Tate Tarot and Oracle. Okay, you guys, I love y'all. Bye.